Hey guys, I'm going to jump back into food for a little bit. I'm sitting here returning a lot of email on a Monday, and we've had some good discussions in some of our forums between clients, and a topic that typically comes up quite a bit is flexibility versus structure, and that's just kind of a debate that's raging a little bit in some of the circles of, of nutrition, especially competitively, and it's something that it just seems kind of bizarre to me to, to worry about it so much. So I thought, you know, we'll, we'll address it, have the conversation. As a matter of fact, our next book that we're going to release by the end of the year, I use this uh, as kind of a flow into discussing nutrition. We've got so much out there on the mechanics of nutrition. Every book I do, I don't want to just kind of rehash the same stuff. So in this format, we're talking about structured flexibility. It's not one or the other, it's both. It's structured flexibility. And I think that's one of the things that we bring to this argument that ends up kicking us in the tail, is that our brains as humans um, just do that. We label things. It's good, bad, right, wrong, hot, cold. That's how we survive. You immediately see something, You there's a stimulus and you have to identify it. And typically that's categorically bipolar, one or the other never a gradient and we actually have to kind of step back and, and look at something a little bit more objectively to parse that out and, and it's easy but here, here, here are some examples um, just yesterday my son said hey dad I've got a headlight out what should I do and I found out it was just the bulb not the entire headlamp so I said well you could go take it in and pay to have somebody do that for you or you could go to the the parts store and get a five dollar bulb and we can do it so of course, being a teenager, he chose the more inexpensive route. And um, so what did we do? Did we get a toolbox out there and just start taking the car apart because we want to be flexible? We want to just have that experience and do whatever we want? No, the first thing we did was grabbed a YouTube video and we plugged in exactly what car year and model it was and said how to change a light bulb in this model car because we wanted structure. We needed something that told us exactly what to do so we wouldn't screw it up. That's often... Um, kind of the stimulus, the motive for us to, to want structure, but then because this has become such kind of a bad word in the industry, people have novelized flexibility, like that's the ultimate goal, you should be flexible, and of course you should have some flexibility, but there are a lot of people who say, you know, just eat anything you want, just, just wing it, just listen to your body, it, it just doesn't work well. So here's how one of these conversations went on a forum that, uh, that I was monitoring, you know, somebody jumps on and says, hey, man, I'm loving the program, it's great, but wow, this tracking my food is really tough. And somebody else jumps in and says, well, you know, hey, it was tough for me to get started, but I've been doing it now for two months and I've lost 25 pounds and now it's just smooth as butter. And that's really what we should look at in terms of a lot of things in life, between needing that structure to begin and then because we're learning that language and then we can apply some more flexibility. Um, not to go all Mr. Rogers on you, but I do have a sweater on. Uh, th this does apply to a lot of things other than nutrition, but think about that for just a second. Think of maybe uh, an academic type setting. You're a student at first. You go in and you learn something, so you need structure. You're, <clears throat> you're reading a book. You're taking notes. You're listening to a, a teacher, a professor. You're assimilating all this stuff, and it takes a long time. And then as you start mastering that information, uh, you not only don't need as much structure, you could ultimately end up being a teacher. And so now somebody asks you questions, you don't have to go flipping through your notes and so forth. You can synthesize a lot of conceptual information, even just how you organize that more concrete information, because now you know it. You're, you're in that flow, in that system. So that, that's how I look at nutrition. Uh, structure is never bad, even when you do have a lot of the answers. Um, myself, I, I gravitate towards similar meals, you know, the same times of day and so forth because it just becomes routine. It becomes my schedule. I don't eat the same things forever, but I go through habits. So if something sounds good for breakfast, you might see me eat that five, six, seven times a week for a few months and then I make a change. But that structure, you know, creates a, an easier flow to then be flexible, especially with things like this. I was just traveling. And of course my travel structure is different. All of a sudden I'm in hotels and restaurants and so forth. And so in order to not just 
you know, be bothered with a ton of decisions and just the inconvenience of going out all the time. Of course, I take some of my food, things that are travel friendly, and then I create my own structure even for a different context. So then I might eat out one or two meals a day, but I've got a couple of meals that are just preset, no thought, that's structure, that's a good structure. So I'm flexible, I'm at home or I'm on the road, there's some flexibility, but it's structured flexibility. So my, my kind of take home message for this is just don't look at either one of those as something that's rudimentary or advanced or this is bad, this is good. Don't label things like that. It really limits us. And again, that's, that's something that can be applied in a lot of places. But you don't always have to have this dichotomous yes or no black and white answer. Look at where structure might be best used by you and where flexibility might be best used by you. Even those contexts can change, and you're going to find out that to be your best physically, which goes down to your health, your physique, your energy, your performance, there, there's not a perfect way that's going to be right for every single day or even every time of your life, every week, that kind of thing. It changes, it adjusts, so you need to have some flexibility there too, but it's a lot easier to be flexible and still meet your goals if you know what kind of structure you can rest on. So we'll stop there. We'll have some, uh, some more good topics coming up. Thank you guys for watching.